hi guys so today i'm going to do my december birch box and i got it this weekend and today is monday the 15th exactly the day i'm going to upload this I wanted to let you know a few things. I'm not sponsored by Birchbox. I pay for this on my own. I've had it for years. I absolutely love it. It's only $10 a month, a subscription, $10 a month. Also, it is finals week. So that's why I'm in a, just a t-shirt and a flannel because it is cold. It is finals week and I just had a final today and I think it went okay. We'll see. Um, but we'll just jump in and first of all, look at this box. If you haven't seen a birch box box before, that makes a lot of sense. If they look normally like this. So this blue one is gorgeous, has gold flecks on it. Um, and then on the side, it's Chevron. And it says birch box. So yes, also in birch box, every month it comes with a card and it tells you the product name, the company name, how much the full size is, what it is and how you use it, which is really helpful if you haven't seen these products before. And a lot of times, half of them I have and half of them um I'm like well I haven't seen these before so it's really nice that they kind of give you an idea of how to use it we will just get started here's the box and we're gonna get started with a lip mattifying lip rouge by Marinese I should go ahead and show you and it is in the color Sydney. And I'm so excited about this because I've been loving matte red lips. This is Siren and Scarlet by the Maybelline Mattes collection. That's what's on my lips right now. Absolutely have been loving it. I think it like is the perfect red for my skin. So when I saw this in my birch box, I got so excited because it is supposed to be a mattifying, um, it's supposed to be like a velvet touch, but then it dries matte and it's supposed to be a lip stain. So I thought this would be perfect below my lipstick. And yeah, so we'll just go ahead and swatch it. Look at this packaging verse. It says the name, I don't know if you can see this, Sydney, and it has it on the bottom as well. And just looks like that, it's gorgeous packaging. And the Dofa applicator is really like a weird shape, but so it just looks like that. It's gorgeous. It reminds me exactly what's on my lips. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on. And it feels really nice. It doesn't feel drying at all. So we will see how this works. I'm so excited for this time of year. Um, but yeah, so, so excited, guys. The next thing is a scent, and it is English Laundry by Christopher Wicks in the signature for her. So it just looks like that. Beautiful packaging. Go ahead and open it up. I'm really just... I'm really interested to see how this, they package this because I've gotten a lot of samples that like they're in those little glass containers and you kind of have to pour them on. But this is not like it. It just um, has a spray. And I, it smells good. Let's see. The scent is inspired by English gardens and it balances floral and woodsy notes. So it just smells good to me. I don't know how to explain it. The next thing is the Royal Apathic Cuppa Cuppa Firming Tea Mask. And I'm really excited about this because I love mud masks. My face love mud masks. And this seems like that's what it's going to be. It's made with tea. And then it's just this color right there. So it just looks like that. I'm so excited because a lot of the clear masks, they're hard to know where they're at or where they are. Yeah, where they're at on your face and if you've got a good coverage. I love mud masks. They just work really well. And this is supposed to brighten and moisturize, I believe. Brighten and firm your face, which is always a good thing um, in the winter time when I feel like my skin is just like so dull. I like gravitate towards the highlighter so much in the winter time um, because I feel like my face gets super dull in the winter. Um, without like some sun since I get I'm super pale so the next thing is the Davinus replumping super active leave-in treatment for your hair so basically you spray this when you get out of the shower this smells so good it smells like lemon it's supposed to make your hair look thick and shiny so it's just a leave-in conditioner and I'm really excited I love these things I'm almost out of one that I have and I think it's by the same brand, and I think I got it in my birch box a little while ago, but this is different. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that because as my hair has gotten longer, it makes it look even like thinner 
and not volu voluminous. So I love products that try and make it have at least a little bit of volume. So I got the leave-in conditioner as well as samples of the shampoo and conditioner. So I love it when they have products that all go together. I just, it makes me so happy. And I hope they all smell like this lovely lemon scent. It smells so good. I love the scent of lemon though, guys. I love lemon scented things. They just make my day. So I had to refilm this part because I had lipstick on my teeth and I didn't notice it. And I know that I've had lipstick a few times before in this video, but this was like on there for like this whole last product and the outro and it was just really bad. So I'm refilming, so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit different or anything like that. But yeah, it's I think a few hours later, so it's not too much different, but I did like put away my lights and have to get them back out. So in case it's a little bit different, I'm sorry, but I only have one product left, but there's a lot to say about this product, so that's why I like refilmed it all. But we'll just get into it. It is the Well People Bio Brightening Stick in Moonshine. So there's that. And then this is what it looks like. It's in Moonshine. It just looks like this. It's gorgeous. It's a highlighter. Like I said with the mask in the wintertime, I love highlighters. And just in general, I've really started liking highlighters. It makes such a difference on my face because it is so pale. I feel like highlighters make such a bigger difference. Highlighters make such a bigger difference than bronzer because bronzer can look really muddy at times. But I feel like highlighters just make a huge difference any time of the year, but especially during the winter when I'm super pale and there's like nothing. It looks really weird to like put a lot of bronzer on, you know, make some color that way. But if you put a like a highlighter, it's just like, oh, the angels sing. So, yes, that's that. There's two things I want to say about this product. The first one is that I actually picked this product, Birchbox. Everyone who gets Birchbox, I think like halfway through the month or maybe closer to the beginning of the month, um, they let you pick one sample that will be in your box. And I really like that because then you can pick at least you know one thing you're going to really like. And there's usually a list of like four or five and sometimes they'll give you details or you can go look at look at them up and different things like that. I think this and, honest, and the lip rouge that I showed you earlier in Sydney and I think both of them were on this list and I'm pretty sure I picked the highlighter or you can pick like a whole box like they have a box like you can get this box and it has like these five products in it but I always pick the single items just because the boxes have never appealed to me um but I always look at them to see if that's the box I want because then you know every single sample you're gonna get but so far I've just picked the one and like to be surprised um, but the second thing, the reason I picked the highlighter over the lip product is because this Thursday, and I know I've talked about this a few times in a few different videos, there is a series, like a 17 video series. This is why I've talked about it so much, because all of Thanksgiving break, I spent making this video series. This video series, however, is not going to be 17 videos in a row. I felt like that's a little much, and so I think we're going to do two or three videos a month, so it's going to take probably through July, August. I haven't really planned that far in advance. I have already pre-filmed them because these videos are gonna go through my entire makeup collection, product by product, show you swatches, show you everything I have. And when you see the lip products, which I think are gonna be, there's a few different videos of them because I have so many in I think January and February, I believe that's when like the lip products are, you will see that I have so many lip products that I don't need anymore and that's just when I had just finished like that video series is when I got a pick. And I just recently got started into highlighters and so I don't have a ton. I still have more than I probably need, but you know, it's okay. So that's why I picked this highlighter. It was because after doing that series, I was like, oh, I don't need any more lip products. But I was super excited to get that lip product in my birch box, and I will definitely use it. Because um, I don't have a lot of red lip products. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited about that video series. I'm excited about my birch box. Let me know what product you have the most of in your, like, if you have a lot of lip balms or eyeshadows. Technically, I probably have the most eyeshadows just because palettes have like a ton of them in there. But individual like products, I have more like lip glosses and stuff because I just collect them over the years. So I've been working on using those up. But anyways, 
get excited for the introduction video that's coming on Thursday. I'm just so excited about it, guys. I'm really excited about this series and to really work on using products up. It is part of my New Year's resolution. There will be a video also coming January 1st that talks about my two New Year's resolutions because I only have two, but they're big ones. They are ones that aren't as simple as do this, do this, do this, you know, do this five times a week, exercise five times a week. They are way more complicated than that. And, but I'm very excited about them. And this is the start of one of those resolutions, I guess, is going through all my products. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go because I've like talked forever now on this clip and I hope you have a great day and yeah, bye.